YouTube, welcome to my channel and this time I'm going to be painting the engine cover of my Mustang GT. This is going to look awesome. So when I go to shows I always open the bonnet and sit my little teddy bear on there and I like to show off the engine because a lot of people like to see the 5 litre GT engine. So I've always thought the engine cover looks a bit boring and we can make it a lot nicer. So that's what we're going to do in this video today. But this applies to any engine cover for any car, not just a Mustang. I'm going to show you how you can paint your own engine cover in your own garage but before we get into that don't forget that these t-shirts are still available fun to drive t-shirts got t-shirts got mugs i've got hoodies and it's all for a good cause 10 percent of all profits from the sale of these go to charity so click on the link below go get yourself one of these and support the channel so first step is obviously is to get that engine cover off the car so first thing we're going to need is a pick just to remove the plastic cover like so and a 10 mil socket to actually remove the 10 mil nut that's holding it on and the same on the other side so now we just need to lift the engine cover over the threads at the front and there's a couple of poppers at the back that just need to be lifted up and then we can slide it out i'm hoping it will go under the strut brace i've never taken this off with a strut brace on so fingers crossed it goes under that the answer is no it doesn't come off when you've got the strut brace on so let's get the strut brace off it's only a few bolts at each side and then we can get this off easy and for these you're going to need a deep 15 mil socket so the very first step is to decide which parts you are going to paint and on mine i'm going to leave this central part here because i quite like this and that's going to stay black uh, but i'm going to paint this outer bit here and this outer bit here and a little bit at the front there they're going to be uh, as close to the colour of my car as I can get them so it's going to be blue basically then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over these letters here and just highlight them with a white paint pen so now we've decided what you're doing you now need to get the right materials we've got some degreaser we've got some plastic primer we've got the paint that will hopefully be uh, velocity blue is what i've ordered i don't think it's going to be close but it, it should be near enough and uh, i've got some extreme high temperature lacquer there which i'm going to put on the top to protect it all and i've got a bit of scuffing brush there to scuff up the plastic ready to take the paint Let's start by first using the degreaser to just get rid of any contaminants that are on the actual plastic before we move forward. Once it's all degreased, you can then use a scuff pad to scuff up the plastic ready for the primer. also on mine i'm not going to forget that i need to prep these two little covers that i took off when i was moving the cover so next step is to mask off the areas that we don't want to paint on this cover Twenty minutes later so i've now been messing around for ages with this uh, trying different tips and nothing will, will stick to here like <laughs> it's just ridiculous and then it dawned on me when I got my car uh, ceramic coated by Automotive Finesse, I'm pretty sure they said something about doing some work under the on the plastics under the bonnet. So I, I give Rudy a rang at Automotive Finesse and said, um, you didn't ceramic coat me, uh, me engine cover, did you? He said, yep, we did that. So there we go then. So that's why nothing will stick to this now because it's got this ceramic coating, which is a pain to get off. You'd have to do a load of sanding to get it off. And I didn't want to do that. I thought, oh, you know, it's going to be a bit easier if I just buy another one so i've just <laughs> i've just bought another one and um, which to be honest is better because i've got that gray center bit there which i prefer than, than the black one on mine so i'm going to um mask this one off and then we'll we'll get this one all painted up All masked up and ready, so now it's time to get this car out of this garage so I can spray that without any overspray hitting the car. So now everything's set up, uh, we're in a position where we can start the painting. So we're going to start with the plastic primer, which I've got, 
and so I'm going to shake that tin. Let me show you something that I did buy. This is good. You might want to get one of these. So that's one of these. So these are like uh, little handles that pop on top of spray cans and turn it into basically a spray gun. So much easier to use the can than just trying to press down and holding it right. So these just on eBay, dead cheap. Um, I don't know. <laughs> just just search for something like a aerosol can handle or something like that, and you should be able to find these. So we're going to give the paint a good shake. Make sure it's all nicely mixed up before we actually do the spraying. Stuck a piece of uh, brown paper up against the wall here, so I can test the spray when uh, when I've shook the can and attached the handle. So that's good to go, so let's do the first coat of plastic primer. Not forgetting the caps that cover the nut holes. So that's completed, now we'll let that dry for about 15 minutes and then we can start the painting. So now I've got my tin of paint, uh, this does say Velocity Blue on it, but yeah, it's not going to be the same colour as my car, I'm pretty sure of that, but as long as it's kind of a nice blue, then I'm going to be happy with that. So, um, yeah, I've shook this up now, so this is all ready. Let's go test it against the brown paper I put on the wall here. That doesn't look bad, that. So, okay, we're ready now. Let's go spray the engine cover. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to start with a couple of light coats. So just misted coats, really, just to sort of get the paint to start to adhere into the plastic. That's the first light coat done, so we're going to give that 10 minutes or so to go tacky, and then we'll do the next one. Okay, time for the second light coat. Let this one dry for 10 to 15 minutes before we do the next coat. And time for the third coat, and this one is going to be more of a medium coat, so just a bit more than the misty. Let's give that a go. Right, so now I'm going to give that another 10-15 minutes and then I think we'll probably just do one more medium coat and I think that should be enough. And another medium to heavyish coat really and then let's see where we are after that. Okay, so this time I'm going to let this one dry a little bit longer uh, but it's certainly, it's getting to be a bit lighter now so yeah, obviously the paint is now covering but it's nowhere, it's nowhere near the colour of my car, I don't think. But hey, it's going to be a blue and I think it'll still look nice in the car. I'm going to leave this probably about 30 minutes now, see how it goes. And this is actually looking pretty nice. So I'm going to give it another coat, another heavy coat again. And hopefully that should be the last. So I'll take the last coat now and it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave it overnight. And then we'll come back tomorrow and we can do the lacquering tomorrow. That's the next day now. Now this is completely dried, but it's nothing like the colour of the car, but it's a lovely shade. I really do like it. And it's just got a bit of texture as well from the actual uh, engine cover. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this. So next stage is now before I do the clear is I'm going to use this white paint pen to actually go over the uh, powered by Ford letters that are in there. So that should make them stand out a bit. Okay, a few little errors, uh, obviously spilt a bit there, I've got a few little drips, um, but that pen, when you when you press it down to, to let the paint come out, a great big blob shoots out, and that's probably so, that's what happened there. But what I intend to do is, I'll get some of the paint from the paint tin, and I'll get a brush, and I'll just brush over that, and I'll cover these bits up. Not sure what I'm going to do with a bit inside the P there, but we'll be able to sort something out there. Right, I'll let that dry, I'm going to do the other one. Not as neat as I'd liked, but that's all right. Um, I'll touch them bits up, and I think it needs another coat. So I'm going to give it another coat and touch them up. I'll get back to you. Next day now, and I've fixed all the issues with the paint, uh, the white paint. I uh, I touched it up, so I had, a, I had a big splash there. I touched that up now, so that's gone. The P had some white inside of it. Well, uh, I used a cocktail stick 
to get some of the white out and then put a little bit of blue on the end and dabbed it in there so yep so that's now looking absolutely superb so next job is to remove the masking and then we can clear coat the whole thing so that's looking nice i like that contrast of the gray against the uh, against the blue brilliant so it's a couple of little flecks of paint i think that's from when i got this actual uh, engine cover it had a few little bits of flex of paint on it so i'm just going to get those off here and uh, and then we can lacquer the whole lot right she's ready so i'm now just getting the clay coat ready and then we begin the clay coat process going to do the same as i did the paint process that is a few thin coats of lacquer just to allow it to build up so let's begin with the first thin coat of this clay coat 10 minutes now just to uh, dry and then um, we'll do the next one second miss coat now done so we're going to leave this now for 10 minutes and then we'll do the bit heavier coat after that heavy coat now done and I'm going to give that about 30 minutes to dry and then we'll come back and do one more heavier coat and that should be it So last coat, and again this will be the thicker coat. That's it, so now that it's fully coated I'm going to let that dry thoroughly so that means I'm going to leave it overnight and we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Stay now and oh, this is looking lovely, it's all nicely dried and just check this out. So yeah I'm well happy with that, that's looking very very nice. So let's get that back on the car now. So we need to get it under that strut brace and probably need to take the strut brace off or lift it up high because I don't want to, when I'm sliding this under, scratch it all and crack it, you know, with a strut brace by catching it on the edge. So uh, yeah, let's get, get the bonnet open and let's get this back in. pieces are the covers for this area there one and two so there she is fitted and I've got to say this looks absolutely superb I'm so glad I did this it makes such a difference when you lift the bonnet up now it's not a great effort to do, it's just time consuming because you've got to let the paint dry in between the different coats etc but it's certainly worth the effort, it's very easy to get off and very easy to do so if you want a little mod, do you want to do tea car? I recommend doing this one I mean me doing this is surely worth a subscribe from you guys just press that button down below, subscribe it really really helps the channel don't forget to drop me a comment, let me know what you did with yours if you've done yours, would you do this to yours? is it a bit tacky for you? Or is it something you think is absolutely worth doing? If so, drop me a comment, let me know. And by the way, if you did enjoy this video, then why not check this one out?